Wanai, Song in a Picture, and TikTok will be there too. Along with this is the University Student Government and the Integrated School Student Government's Synchronimo, Open Lip Sync Battle, and another battle for the throne, Open ML Tournament, IS Valorant Tournament, and a USG Open Call of Duty Tournament. There will also be another round for Zumba, basketball, and volleyball for lay partners. The third day of Panaglambigi 2022 will start off with environmental stewardship at 9 to 10 a.m. Simultaneous to this is Sulatnimo Creative Writing Monologue Workshop. At 10 a.m., there will be a session about coping up with the new normal realities of student life with Brew Zone. Activities for the afternoon include Stand for Children Empowering Youth's Rights and an orphanage visitation from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. The Lasallian Family and Feast Day Mass will be at 2 to 3 p.m. in the same afternoon. Finally, at 3 p.m. will be the start of the celebration of winners. Starting off with Bentugan Awards 2022 and Ania Lasalle Harvest of the Arts Festival Awards. This is followed by Balay Bala Year End Kumustahan. The acknowledgement of newly accredited organizations and accomplished organizations. And the launching of Lasallian Athletes Academy and Lasallian Artists Academy. On the last day of Panaglambigit 2022, we will start early at dawn. At 4.30 a.m., we'll commence the Animove Bike to Heal, starting off from the Malindang Golf Course of Bagakay up until Gala at La Firm. Lastly, at 9 a.m. is the E-Run Awarding and Recognition in Gala La Firm. And that concludes our list of schedule and activities for Panaglambigit 2022. Be a part of this fun celebration. Register in workshops, webinars, and wellness programs. Participate in games and win awards. This is Panaglambigit 2022. Animo Lasal. Panaglam Bigit 2022, Lasal University Family Days, building communities to transform lives. Panaglam Bigit 2022, collect six badges to gain one entry to be one of the 16 lucky winners daily. The winners will receive Panaglam Bigit special prizes. This is open to all members of the Lasalian community. Join in any activity or participate in any booths available online or on-site to earn badges. Accomplish an attendance form and evaluation form participated in to be awarded one badge. Or complete a transaction in any official booths online or on-site by answering a form to earn one badge. Expect to receive a corresponding badge at your official LSU email address after accomplishing each form from the activity or booth. Note that participants can only earn one badge for one activity or booth at a time even if there is another participation or transaction with the same activity or booth. Complete the six badges to automatically receive one entry in the daily raffle that will be drawn during the open stage from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Earn more than six badges to increase your chances of winning the daily raffle. Note that the badge will only be valid on that day. Panaglam Bigit 2022, Lasau University Family Days, building communities to transform lives. Panaglam Bigit 2022, Ania Lasal Harvest of the Arts Festival. Ania is a Cebuano term that literally means there is, and it bears another Cebuano term, ani, which means harvest. Also, A in Ania is purposely separated to represent an acronym that means arts. And so, Ania is a festival suggesting that there is harvest of arts in this part of Mindanao. This year's Ania is celebrated during the month of the Founders' Feast, St. John Baptist de La Salle, with three major sub-festivals, Cine Animo, Music Animo, and Sulatimo. Cine Animo 6 is a digital short film festival in northern Mindanao that highlights unique regional stories, local tales, and world truths. Music Animo involves diverse Bisaya songwriters, both in La Salle University and the regions of northwestern Mindanao. Lastly, 
Sulat Nimo holds a series of programs including educational workshops in the fields of creative writing and journalism. For Sini Animo, workshops and talks will be held on these dates. On May 12, we have workshops on visuals of cinema, sounds of cinema, and emotions of cinema. On May 17, will be film talks on a glimpse of regional filmmaking, status quo, and its perspectives, and film appreciation talk, paano ba manood ng pelikula? For Music Animo, Huni sa Balay, a workshop on home producing, will be on May 11. On May 12, will be Musica Uglirico, a workshop on songwriting. Lastly, Sulat Nimo will hold its workshops on the following dates. Workshops on spoken word poetry and feature writing will be held on May 11. Workshops on poetry, news writing, and editorial writing will be on May 12. The workshop for monologue will be held on May 13. What are you waiting for? Register now and be a part in this harvest of arts and culture. Ania, Harvest of Arts Festival. Panaglam Bigit 2022, Wasau University Family Days, Building Communities to Transform Lives. Panaglam Bigit 2022. Ania Lasal Harvest of the Arts Festival. Sulat Nimo holds a series of programs including educational workshops in the fields of creative writing and journalism. Thank you. 
Gampia Gendal Menudalad. Welcome to Salat Nemo Creative Writing Workshop. Our speaker for today's workshop will excite everyone and we can learn to hone our talents. May I request everyone, if it's possible, please turn on your video for us to have a more interactive discussion, even in a virtual space. All right, hello and good morning, participants. And I welcome you all to Salat Nemo Creative Writing Monologue Workshop. I hope you'll have fun in today's workshop and the entire Panaglam Bigot 2022. But before anything else, to welcome us in all in this momentous workshop, to give you the founding Salat Nemo Festival Director, Dr. Philemon Bonita Blanco for opening remarks through a video presentation. Ania. Felimon Bonita Blanco finished his three-year professional diploma in intercultural theater, major in acting at the Intercultural Theater Institute in Singapore. He also finished his PhD in education at La Salle University, Ozamis. Currently, he is enrolled in the Doctor of Arts in Literature and Communication at Cebu Normal University. In September 2013, he was awarded as Most Outstanding Zambu Suryad in the Field of Arts and Culture by the province of Zamboanga del Sur. He is the founding artistic director of La Salle University, Teatro Gendigan. In 2015, he organized Performing Mindanao Student Theater Network, a network of university-based theater companies in Mindanao. He serves as head of the National Committee on Dramatic Arts of the National Commission for Culture and the Arts. Felimon is a faculty of Jose Rizal Memorial State University, De Paulo. La Salle Harvest of the Arts Festival. Sulat Nemo holds a series of programs including educational workshops in the fields of creative writing and journalism. Sulat Nemo. I conceptualized Sulat Nemo in 2019. I, I had a conversation with uh, Sir Jesriel Montes, uh, who was then at the time the director of the Miguel Writing Center of La Salle University. And initially, uh, when we had that, you, you know, sometimes me, I always start creating projects over, you know, simple conversations. And then suddenly, ding, again, then suddenly we thought of, yeah, I'm, I was very interested at the time to really develop uh, a, a writing festival, a writing project for La Salle University. And when Sir Jess uh, approached me that he wanted to develop a, a writing workshop uh, that the Miguel Writing Center, the MWC at the time, will uh, spearhead. And that's when I said, okay, then we'll have uh, a, a writing project. And that's when I started, I want again, I always wanted to bring the, the, the animal branding. And that's when I coined the term Sulat Nimo. With, with, you know, with this, we, I started uh, contacting my, my, my good friend, uh, uh, Juan Iques, uh, uh, Christian values in, in, in real life, to come to Osamis to conduct the first ever Sulat Nimo in November 2019. And that was the birth. That was the birth of Sulat Nimo. At the time, when I had a discussion with Sir Jess, you know, we wanted that the output of Sulat Nimo will be uh, staged into a production. And, and it can be either the, the family days or in the university days. And then I was pushing that idea of, wow, it can be from Sulat Nimo to Dula Nimo. So, so you have the output of Sulat Nimo will now be staged, will be mounted into a festival of performances, which we will call at Dula Nimo. Now, unfortunately, 
uh, pandemic came. So in November 2019, it only happened. And then, uh, you know, uh, when the pandemic hit, we have our own standstill. So that idea of producing whatever that will be developed from the Sulat Nimu and, you know, like kind of mentoring of the students of La Salle who participated uh, during that first workshop, that they will be able to create a sort of 10 minute place. Um, then eventually we can be staged as Adula Nimu, you know. Uh, and that, that was, the, that was the, the, the trajectory of, of Sulat Nimu. I, I think that is for me what really inspires me to push through with Sulat Nimo, uh, especially that it's not only me alone, but I have uh, a partner who believes in this inside the university, Sir Jess, uh, being the director of the MWC at the time. And I, I know that we will go somewhere with this project. Uh, it became easier on my part because um, the M MWC with the Elisha Tingo, they become the they become the, the organizers. You know? they, manage the, they manage the whole um, event. So I was there just to really guide them what to do next, what to prepare next. In the students, uh, student writers of Elisha Tingo, and of course, in the, under the MWC, uh, they were there to support the conduct of, of Sulat Nimo. And that made my life easier because I was just there to facilitate you know, uh, things that are needed. But the guys, the, 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 the writers, were there to support, manage, uh, I mean, were there to, to manage the, the, the whole event. I think the success story of that first ever Sulat Nimo is that idea that uh, we are able to present to the world that La Salle University can organize a writing workshop. You know? And eventually that we can invite experts uh, from outside of Osamis to come to La Salle University to facilitate or to train our aspiring writers in the area. Um, I am hoping that Sulat Nimu with now, you know, we're under the, the new festival management now and making it as a, a writing festival that it will have, it will it will create more ripples. It will it will encourage more writers. I know that we have good writers in the area, you know, in La Salle University, for example. Uh, but again, there are no platforms for them. Of course, there are many writing festivals, writing workshops uh, outside Osamis. But you know, I mean, for practicality's sake, it's it's difficult financially. But with Sulat Nimo. We can bring in experts in the field, in, in writing, in, in, uh, uh, um, in, in writing plays, in, 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 in poetry, and the likes. Uh, to come to Osamis, to come to La Salle University, and uh, conduct these trainings or workshop for our, our uh, uh, young writers in the area. And I think, again, we position our uh, La Salle University position as again uh, a center for culture and the arts in this part of the country and we are not only providing we are, we are providing the young writers in the area through this festival so they don't have to really go to you know far like maybe illegal with the illegal national writers workshop or even in in, in bacolod or, or maybe in manila but we can bring experts to come in uh, positioning La Salle University as an organizer of a writing festival in this part of the country. So I am hoping that in the future, uh, that idea of Sulat Nimo, and the trajectory to Dula Nimo will be realized in the future. And that's my wish for Sulat Nimo to follow the trajectory that from Sulat Nimo, the students will be mentored to develop original scripts and then eventually will be staged to what we call as Dula Nimo or a play festival. Um, I am Felimon Blanco, the founder of Sulat Nimo, and I am formally turning over the festival management of Sulat Nimo to the LSU Educational and Digital Media Services team headed by Mr. Ted Najib Takan. I am wishing that you continue providing 
creating platforms for the young writers in the area, and really pushing well, the students to write and let, the, let their works be staged in the future under Dula Nimo. Congratulations. Way to go. Sulat Nimo. Thank you. I am Forever Lasalian. Animo Lasal. Sulat Nimo holds a series of programs including educational workshops in the fields of creative writing and journalism. Once again, the founder of Sulat Nimo and our guest speaker for today's workshop. Once again, please help me welcome Dr. Felmon Blanco. Hello, sir. Good morning. Okay, uh, good morning, Jimar. Good, good morning, uh, everyone. Um, thank you, LaSalle University, for, for inviting me uh, to share to you whatever little knowledge that I have uh, in developing uh, scripts. Um, hello, fellow LaSalleans. Uh, it's nice to be back, although virtually. Um, I've been watching uh, some of the clips during the, the family days this year, and it's so amazing. And always proud uh, to be one with the family of La Salle University. Anyway, uh, we are already short of time and I am only given an hour and I hope I will be able to really share to you. I, I'm not really wishing to really conduct an actual uh, writing because it takes time, but what I'll be talking with you will be sharing to you some tips, some, some steps, and then eventually, I will be asking you to participate uh, virtually by responding to some of the uh, questions uh, that I will flag down here. And uh, just for me to be able to also uh, know that you are listening to me. And again, that, like what, what I mentioned, that was quite a very comprehensive. I didn't realize I, 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 you know, I, I, I have... You know, uh, I spoke that long uh, during that uh, recording in the studio. But uh, I, I think one of the things that I have been wishing for for Solat Nimo when we started this in 2019 was to really develop young student writers or student writers, especially from La Salle University. And then, like what I've said in the video, that uh, hopefully that this, you know, like, Play, short plays or, or monodramas or, or monologue can be staged. Uh, of course, at that time, I was the, 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 the artistic director of, of Teatro Gidiga. So I was wishing that that project, that I was saying about the trajectory from, from Solat Nimo outputs, then it will be staged into a festival of performances. Hopefully, I'm, I'm, I, hopefully after this, um, we will be able, I mean, uh, LSU and the MSD through Sir Ted will be able to push through that vision, that, that dream uh, for, for this project. Anyway, Sige, to start, um, I'm slide adjusting. Okay, wait. Okay, um, I, I call my, uh, my uh, lecture today, I, I call it Basics of Dramatic Monologue. When I say basics, because I'll be just be sharing uh, to you guys uh, this morning, basic steps. Uh, there are so many approaches and developing dramatic monologues, but I will be just basically be sharing to you some steps that I practically do when I wrote you know, my own uh, solo performances. Uh, I organized um, the able to to witness. I organized the Inosara Mindanao solo performance project, wherein I invited uh, 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 performers from all of, I mean, from across Mindanao to perform. It's a solo performances. It's a you know, it's a it's a device solo performances. And so I I, I want to start with this idea of. How do we differentiate um, uh, monodrama and monologue? No, so when we when we talk about when we talk about monodrama, so basically it's just a play, but it's being performed by one actor. No, for example, <coughs> um, I, I 
uh, for example, New York and Tondo, which is one of the famous, uh, famous uh, play, no, a play in English. And there are in, in New York and Tondo, there are five characters. And these five characters will be performed by just single actor. No? That is what we call as monodrama, meaning to say one single actor shifts between character to character. No? But but basically, uh, he's only one or she's only one uh, doing all the five roles. Now, in monologue, uh, in a strictest sense, a monologue is actually a long speech um, extracted, for example, in a, in, a, in a play. For example, in, in uh, Shakespeare, no? the, the most famous, the most famous uh, 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 plays that have long speeches or monologues are actually the Shakespearean plays. Now, uh, in, in every character of Shakespeare, he, she developed, I mean, he would really write a, a monologue, a dramatic monologue for one actor, you know, like, like uh, sharing to the audience. Um, so uh, this is part of a longer play. But what I will be sharing with you now is creating a, a monologue that is uh, it's a standalone monologue, meaning because it's not part of a larger play, but it's a standalone monologue that you develop. Now, let me uh, start with um, pre-pandemic. Now, this is my last production uh, with Teatro Gindig and pre-pandemic. Um, I'll, I'll show you, uh, uh, um, I have to say, a, an excerpt, but we, I think it's a seven minutes excerpt, but we think we will not finish the whole seven minutes, no? Because I wanted to have more time with you guys, but I wanted you to show that this play uh, entitled Casal Sakal was actually is a series of monologues. Now, it's a series of monologues uh, about uh, the characters in a wedding who attended the wedding, and uh, and and they talk, they share to uh, the audience what are in the minds. You know, it's a series of monologues. This is not a direct conversation as opposed to plays where actors react and react but in this play it's a series of monologues carefully uh, uh, styled and fashioned to to produce a, a unified and coherent play so let's watch this Pangalan sa mahal, sa anak o sa Espiritu Santo. Amen. Ang dinong alaga ni Diyos. na sila. Maunang nagkatibulag ng nag ijay-ija. Ang pod nga, ang aming yun na. Pero inay si Camila. Kaya kinamangguan. Huwag yun ni makabayad sa akong pagkalima ka niya. Huwag yun makatabang ang kanahan. Sa akong pagkabudo. Siya na ang aking pinakabugat nga pala sa unong nga pos. Gastadura kay. Manilig sa weplo. Kaya kinig ka mga kanil. Ay, hindi. Ang 
nga pagdili makabayad sa ilang diutang ka na ako, akong kuhaon ang ilahang yuta. Unya ka ron. Pista, sa kaon lang unya. <laughs> Bagis, yung akong pananaw sa pagutos. <laughs> Ikaw na ay buskol, anong nilimali mo? Buskol, buskol, buskol. Ah! <laughs> 
Okay, so that uh, that uh, play um, um, uh, Kasal Sakal was actually a series of, of monologues. No, meaning to say there are only some portions in, in the play that uh, actors interact, but most of the time it's really a series of, of monologues. And this is things that we are going to to talk about uh, this morning. Now, I want to start with this uh, question, no? this idea of, of monologue ne? Um, based on what you have just witnessed in the individual characters. Uh, I want you to uh, type in the chat box. Now, the first word that comes to your mind when you hear the word monologue, what it is for you, how do you understand uh, the concept of monologue? Uh, in, in the context of what you have just witnessed in, in the performance. Anyone? You can uh, type on the chat box uh, uh, the, the first thing, you know, um, what comes to your mind when you hear the word monologue? <clears throat> Lexi said expression. What else? Solo. Yeah, that's solo, meaning to say it's really... A uh, single actor, no? And uh, parents said script words. So it's really about writing, you know, writing word scripts. Uh, uh, one person speaking, yes, it's a speech, no? The, uh, model is a long speech. Uh, Hello, Ayan. Ayan says an artistic way of expressing, no? Uh, how you, 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 uh, you, you physicalize on stage, no? The, the text, no? Um, uh, Lisa said, when you speak alone without others knowing it, your own thoughts, no? Uh, Lisa, but that one, Lisa, it, it can be, but that one, Lisa, can be classified as a soliloquy, no? A soliloquy is also solo, but you are uh, talking to your uh, to yourself, your, your your thoughts, no? But a monologue is sometimes shared, no? Sometimes it's not really sometimes, but it's shared uh, to one audience, no? Uh, for example, an example of a soliloquy is Hamlet's to be or not to be. Uh, you know that the, to be that to be that is the, the you know uh, uh, from the play Hamlet, no. Uh, so that's one of the famous soliloquy. And then uh, Precious say internalization of dramatic speech, no. So so when we talk about uh, when we talk about monologue, it's really about you know all you just mentioned about you know solo performance, but. I know it's a solo actor, no? Lahi po ng gitatawag nato ng solo performance. That's why in in the festival that I organize, uh, we call it Inosara, Mindanao Solo Performance Project. I call it solo because a solo performance can be a monodrama, can be a monologue, can be a soliloquy. No? Meaning to say, it's a solo actor. Uh, okay, now, <clears throat> these are, well, uh, there are... There are not really a structured steps in creating a dramatic monologue, but based on my experience, uh, this I, I develop um, based on my experience. I, I because I write plays, no, and I, I write my solo performance. I perform solo. No? I was actually looking for that solo performance that I did at the Cultural Center of the Philippines, uh, but I cannot find it anymore. No, I, I cannot find it anymore in my drive. Um, that was the very first time that I cross-dressed. Um, I, I, I did an interpretation of uh, Samuel Beckett's uh, Crap's Last Day. And uh, I made my own version. And I performed that uh, at the cultural center of the Philippines. But I cannot find any more the, the video. Anyway, so this is how I, I do it. Now, I'm not saying that this is the, 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 the in-all and the be-all of creating a dramatic monologue. But this is just how I do it. Now, first, think of a character. So I always start with... What is my character? No. <clears throat> when uh, the last solo performance that I did, no, that not the last, actually the last, the, the last, last, no, because I performed it in the first uh, in Osara, um, uh, which I call is I am F, no, and then I use myself as the, the character. I use my myself as the inspiration. Think of a character. What it is. No? Um, okay, at this point, I'd like you to just you know uh type on the chat box what what the what 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 is what's the character that you want that is in your mind that you want to to, to develop a piece any character now let's just see any character um uh, anything that you have in mind you can type it in the chat box let's see how you know the, the variety of 
of cara test that you thought of. I will talk about later how will you source inspiration uh, from this. So now I want you to think about character. Anyone? Uh, you can uh, type it on the chat box. Counting one, two, three. Kapamaho na batanan or nangaon pa ha? Think of a character. Uh, <clears throat> Mulan, Belle. Uh, no, not, don't discard the character, just a single character. For example, Beggar no? uh, or, or uh, Sika Driver. No, these are, these are character uh, that comes to your mind. No? Uh, si Janine said Mulan, Christine said Belle, uh, uh, Cinderella, okay? Uh, prisoner, yeah, good, that's good. Prisoner, chef, yeah. So these are, okay, so to move on, these are just some of the characters. Orphan, mistress, oh, I love that, no? Uh, sa kaha ang reactions ni mistress, no? Nag-gibiyaan siya sa iyang, you know, iyang kabit. So something like that, no? Kawatan, mother. So these are characters. These are, think of a characters. Uh, uh, and then next, <coughs> Create a character profile. No? So, uh, pag-usapan natin yan mamaya, no? Uh, how do we create a character profile? And then, third will be begin. You are now beginning writing your script, no? Based on the, the profile that you created and the story that you will be creating. And then, uh, fourth one, which is very important, is edit your monologue. So, when we talk about edit your monologue, you have to really go back and uh, <clears throat> and write and read and write and read. No, it's always about editing. No? Um, uh, when I did IMF in 2019, I had so many versions. No? Uh, even at the last, uh, even at the last hour before, before before performance, I suddenly told my stage manager, "I I will in, I will incorporate something." No, nako ipuno, nako ipuno. Uh, because I develop it and I'm, 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 I write it, I perform it, so I direct my own self, so it's easier uh, for me to add, just add on. I did realize that the last part that I included uh, was the most touching part in the, in, in the performance, no? because suddenly it came into my mind when, when I already had my, you know, my, my rehearsal, my actual rehearsal. Okay, pag-usapan natin ito one by one. So, <clears throat> first is a think of a character, no? Uh, some of you, of you already shared, no? Uh, what are the characters that you have in mind? Now, think of the type of character you want. No, you don't necessarily need to know much about them at this stage, no? Uh, like what I've said, um, you just want to write about a beggar, no? For example, or you just want to write about uh, a prisoner. Or, or, for example, a mother. Uh, so that's just the character. So at this point, like what I mentioned here, do not assume that you know a lot of things because you will develop it later. Uh, no. And then you could do this. No, sometimes uh, you could do this by standing in front of a mirror, holding a position of your made-up character, or even talking gibberish and testing out different facial expressions, voice, and movement. No, as as you develop your 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 character, you can actually like look at them to the mirror and then talk. Maybe you know what's my character. Maybe twisted siya, or maybe magsigi o kipat kipat yung mata, or magsigi siya, no? Or no? so these are many reasons that you are not trying to to put into the character. And even the, the expressions, you know, the way the way the character talks, or maybe even the voice. Um, does he talk always like this? Or, ah, does he talk always like this? No, eh, or even, you know, the gestures, the movements. So, this you can do in front of the mirror because you are now seeing the character comes alive. So, as you start, this will help you, uh, you know, now starting to write it down. And then <clears throat> another good starting point is to base your character on someone you know uh, from some CV, uh, some TV star that you see as an inspiration. No? For example, uh, ganahan kayo ka sa karakter, the actress, no? Ganahan kayo ka ni, 
uh, uh, Gina Alahar, for example, to be the mother, the character of the mother, then you observe, you know, the way the way uh, Gina Alahar moves, or you like you like the katangahan ni, ni Ethel Boba, and then you wanted to create a, a, a comic character na medyo tanga-tanga siya. And you know, that, that kind of inspiration that you you will get no, from all this. Okay, and then second, um, create a character profile. Okay, pag-usapan natin this. This is very important when you develop a, a, a character. No? I think it's not only, I, I do this not only in monodrama or in monologue, <coughs> but I do this when I write my plays. <coughs> Uh, as I write my plays, I always think about, you know, a character profile because you need to, uh, especially when I when I write I when I write a play, um, I start from scratch because you are developing a, a character from scratch. These are fictional characters. These are not true characters. I mean, this can be inspired by by others. So, uh, creating a prof profile helps you, um, example, you, you mentioned uh, a while ago your characters, a uh, hero, mother, a Muslim bride, a mistress, orphan. So that's already the, the character in mind. And now it's time now to put, you know, a, a, a profile. No? Your, your profile means to say, kinsa ni siya, no? And then, a character profile should include the following. Of course, you give it a name. No? So name, brief biography, uh, who is she, who is he, age, even facial expressions, even the hair, the clothing, the clothing style, medyo outdated ba siya, or medyo fancy ba kaya mga sinuotan, or maybe she's, she's fashionable, or she's just plain, you know, plain uh, boy next door type. Uh, and even the speaking style, does she speak fast? Does also she speaks very slow or in a deep voice or maybe in a shrill sound all the time? And then the general demand, how does she move? No? Uh, and then career hobbies, likes and dislikes. Now, how do we, okay, when, when we develop character, you know, especially for, <clears throat> for when, I, when I write a play, you know, when I write a full play, um, when I develop a character, I always start with these three dimensions of, of character. No? So, anong ibig sabihin itong three dimensions of, of character? So, there are, uh, <coughs> there are three um, dimensions. No? There are three specific aspects that we should, or tayo as writers, should pay attention when writing uh, a, a play or when developing a character. First, is what we call as the physiological dimension. So, anong ibig sabihin ng physiological dimension? <clears throat> so, physiological dimension refers to the physical description of the character. No? So, ibig sabihin ng physical description of the character, uh, how, how does the character look like? No? The, the physical appearance may affect the character's attitude towards others in the story. So, we always follow the guide questions. How does the character look like? Uh, uh, ang character na ito ba ay uh, uh, gana ba siya? Ganang bakuon ba siya? Or straight ba kayo siya? No? Chin up ka ayo? That's part of the physiological dimension. What is the general appearance of, of the character? You know, the over or look. Siya ba ay medyo matapopre ang dati? Or siya ba ay shy? Because th this will help you in in developing the way uh, the character talks, no? the, how the character moves, and then what is the body shape, skin, and hair color of the character? No? Body shape meaning to say, siya ba ay napaka, napaka stiff, no? napaka straight kayo, or siya ba tong magsigilang mag-ana, no? mag-upo? No? And even how the character walk or move in the space. Siya ba'y ratulun? Siya ba, dali ba siya, ma, dali ba siya makuyawan? No? And this is part of the physiological. This is something that we see. This is something that we, 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 we see in the character. So, why is it important? Because when writing, 
you know already the pacing of your, your script when you write. Oh, the papaka story ani niya ay slow or kani siyang karakter kay paspas ka siya mo istorya kay mura siya og typewriter mo istorya. But that's part of the physiological <coughs> dimension. The second the second one <coughs> the second one is what we call as the sociological dimension. Now, a social sociological dimension refers to the social conditions of the character's environment. So these are how uh, are the characters are affected by the social environment. No? Uh, background, sociological background affects how the character sees the world and the character's decision making. Uh, a character who lives in a slum area thinks differently from a character who lives in, in, in Camellia homes, for example. It's, they, they, they have different manners of speaking. They have different manners of even the choice of the words, no? Uh, uh, you know, because it, it depends on where, what kind of environment we grow. <clears throat> so <clears throat> for developing the sociological dimension of the character, our guide questions will be, what is the social life of the character? Oh, ito ba ay mayaman? Who who do not have who does not have to really work hard uh, because everything is already provided by his or her mother uh, so that means thank you sir <coughs> so it's it's a uh, it, in 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 the you know in in the practice parabang siya ay all the time uh, being uh, provided by by the parents so she doesn't have to really work as opposed to a character from the slum area for example who needs to really exert so much effort na mamaligya dito ang pagkaon uh maligya og photo bingka mag, mag adto sa mga bus terminal to 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 sell so that is part of the sociological dimension now where does the character live no kanang asya no like, as I, I, what I mentioned earlier, na lahigit ang attitude sa mga nasa slum area kaysa ka mga nasa Camellia homes, for example, in a subdivision. <clears throat> what is the character's job or occupation? No? Uh, so, lahi na, lahi po ang attitude sa Osaka character na, for example, uh, tindira o balot kaysa ni teacher. No? Uh, you know, watch watch them. No? Watch them. Watch the the... the the tinder of balot when they when they sell no makita ni muna sila na they are become down to earth no they they become you know ila imo ha sir ay sige sir no may ana as opposed to someone for example who works in the bank na medyo mataas ang status no na feeling okay no very composed because i think because they are trained in the bank to be composed not to sit properly sa pidi mag slouch but you know they have to be you know, uh, look professionally looking when they deal with clients. <clears throat> and then, what is the educational status of, of the character? Oh, ito ba ay eskwela, college, or wala gin siya nakahuman? Oh, lahi na ilang inistoryahan. Lahi na ilang how they, 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 they take, uh, you know, they, they work uh, with each other. <clears throat> and then, what is the social status of, of the, the, the character? No, Ibig sabihin ng social status of the character is uh what is the that sense of uh ito ba ay mayaman ito ba ay pobre so so the the they have really different uh uh when when they react to people when they react with other people they they they, they react differently and then the third one is what we call as the <clears throat> physiological dimensions of, of character. So uh, when we talk about psychological psychological dimension, so this refers to the internal characteristics of the character in the story, for example. So in, in the psychological life keeps the motivation of the character in, in, let us say, in the play, for example. So our, this is how, how an, a certain person thinks how a certain individual sees about you know situations conditions uh, it can be uh, a person who who loves to, to to socialize a person who loves to to engage in more 
uh, dynamic uh, life or work. <coughs> so guide questions here will be, what is the character's behavior and emotion? Uh, when we talk about characters, behavior, and emotion, how how they behave, how 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 they think, um, how does the character think? So, siya ba ay advance magisip or masadong ah no o tanga tanga lang no? <coughs> and then, how does the character relate with others in the story? How they they connect with each other? And then, what are the problems that the character is facing? Ano sa ba yung yung problema? No? Ano sa ba yung yahang problema gatubak okay <coughs> sige now what i want you to do okay let's try let's try lang ha mag try lang ta no from from the characters that you just mentioned uh just now now i want you to type in no i just want to type in one physiological dimension of your character that you have in mind no? um uh anyone can just type in no for example uh, let's say I'm interested with the kawatan, no? John Marton Largo. <coughs> uh, what could be? Ay, neglect si John Marton ng akong gitawag. Sige, let's say let's call again. Hadok din sila kay tawag na po. <coughs> um, sige, let's call in Janine. Janine Shelo uh, You you said an orphan. Now can you can you type what? It is what, what what you think is the physiological dimension of this orphan character. And then uh, for sociological, I want a Christine Living who said that mistress. I want you to uh, write just a phrase of what is the sociological dimension of, of a mistress. No? Kinsa siya, no? And then, sige, manawag ko. Sige, Julia for the chef. I want you to come up with the sociological uh, dimension or, or characteristics of your character. Okay, you just type in, in the chat box uh, uh, your, what, what you think, no? what you think are the descriptions of this character. Or anyone that I didn't call, you can also type uh, based on this uh, three dimensions of the character. On how will you describe, you know, your your character? You can choose any of the the three dimensions of the character. Allah, nangatulog naman siguro ni akong kaatubang diri sa screen. <laughs> Anyone? <coughs> Anyone can write? Uh... Kisha Adamas uh, mentioned disguise herself as a boy to join tournaments. Okay, um, mm -hmm. so this is uh, this is under the physiological, no? Uh, because in, in your, your character is a girl, and then uh, disguising, no, hiding, uh, pretending to be a boy so that to be able to to join tournaments. Kisha, I like this because you know there's a this one movie, I cannot remember what movie was that. <clears throat> uh, it's a movie shot in the Middle East, I think in, in Iran, during that war, that uh, para lang mabuhi sila. Because a girl, kailangan siya, kung pagbabae mang ka kay mura o gilip pwede mag-work, and then mura o gilip pwede pag -auson. And then they need somebody to work uh, to be able to earn money. So, ang babae nagpanggap siya na, na, na lalaki, but eventually nasaktan siya. So, that, that kind of, that kind of physiological dimension of the character, you know, trying to, to be a boy when you are a girl. <clears throat> si Janine said, an orphan, ang sociological dimension niya would be, finds it hard to rely on others. So, um, meaning to say, ang sociological niya, dili kay siya trust, dili siya trusting, no? Uh, 
uh, but that can meaning to say it's okay we'll try to, to we'll try to make it to fit it into the sociological meaning to say dili siya dili kay siya sociable no dili kay kay dili kayo siya makarelate sa others kasi so sociable kay siya musali although sa may pagka psychological but let's tailor it that that kind of uh mura og kanang dili kay siya musali no dili kay siya musali um si chef uh, sociological the chef has been living in manila after they graduated and clara arts has been struggling to make ends meet so that's that's uh, no that's uh, the sociological meaning to say uh uh the the manila is a very crowded city and then you know the chef is is uh, financially unstable no trying to make ends meet no kulang yang kwarta so na niya nga ma survive niya so that's part of the sociological dimension because that this will create unsayahang kasaputon ba siya no because of of this kind of of ano uh aha uh -huh. si muslim bride she wanted to have freedom of her choice on who to marry but she cannot bring herself to tell it to her parents since the money that they will gain after marriage will be used for their family's needs. No? So uh, we can put this under sociological, no? that kind of social practices and traditions that compel the character. No? And then uh, Christian for the mistress could be rich uh, or not who really act on what she's doing or could be behind what she's doing. No? So, uh, so in, in terms of the mistress, if you make it in you know, a psychological part and this idea of you know, I, 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 uh, uh, I, I need to pretend that I am not a mistress. No, I'm, I'm okay. No, I'm, I'm okay. I, I, I work normally, but you know, that kind of deep inside mistress Aisha, but she's trying to pretend that she's okay and everything about her is okay. No, so that's, <clears throat> that can be psychological because it will create more problems in the mind of, of your, of your character. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Okay, let's move on. Next is begin your script. Now, this is now the time that you now begin writing your script. Now, this is the time that you now begin writing what you have you know, uh, based on those uh, based on those um, situation. Again, when you write your script, <clears throat> you have to remember to keep it short and sweet. You know, a, a monologue should be no longer than one or two pages long and should take about two minutes to deliver, give or take, including all poses. About two minutes. Two to three, no, that's about just the, the right amount of, of monologue, especially if it's in a play. But if it's in an, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's intended to be performed uh, uh, in, a, in a performance, na kana na siya, stand alone lang siya, you can go as far as five or seven minutes. No? <clears throat> in fact, when we did our solo performances, it's about 15. No? I required for about 10 to 15 minutes long. Now, of course, when you when you uh, deliver your your when you write your script, you have to make sure that uh, everything is is uh, uh, placed using those suggestions of putting the three dimensions of a character. Now, how do we structure a monologue? Now, how do we put the monologue from step one, step two, step three? No? So, <clears throat> number one, start by introducing your character. Uh, in character to the audience. So, ibig sabihin that before you, when you st start the monologue, let the audience know, prepare the audience because this is a standalone monologue. When I say standalone monologue, <coughs> this is not part of a larger play or a bigger play or a full play, but it's just standalone, meaning to say, kanala siya, five to seven minutes, for example. So, you have to start introducing your character in the character, no? Start, so anong ibig sabihin nito? Start by introducing your character in character. I mean, so you don't you don't introduce yourself as the writer, but as the as, as the character. You know that you know. Uh, I live here for twenty five years already, being a single mom. So you are now introducing yourself. No, introducing means does not necessarily mean that my name is Felimon, and I am no. But you are sharing at the beginning of, of your piece are sharing to the audience already your who you are who is the who is this character and then second oops <clears throat> next briefly allow the audience to know what situation you are in or what message you are trying to get across in your performance 
Now, so after you you tell them what you are, then you started now telling them, you know, what is your state? Now, for example, uh, in Hong Kong, um, you know, I, I am a mother, I am a single mom who has lived here for 25 years. And now, suddenly, the government will force us to leave our place because they will use it, blah, 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 etc. So you are now sharing to us what state. And then you mention about all my life, all my memories are in this house. But into this time, this house will be demolished. I will lose all the memories that I will have as I grow older, as when I see my child growing, as I, you know, when I, I quarrel with my ex-husband, when, you know, all these kinds are telling them. That is not the state, you know, the, the state that you are in, the situation that you are in. And then, party down your scrape, you should have already played out all the key facts that you needed to get to get to get your chosen message across or what you wanted an audience to see whether it be mental journey or a physical one so you are now uh sharing to the audience your what is happening to you what will happen to you for example that mother the single mom uh, what will happen to her you know uh, uh when, when i leave my place where will i go you know I, Say the character will say, I don't I don't know where I will go. I, I don't know where I will bring my my two kids with me. Let us say assume that the, the, the single mom has two kids. <clears throat> where will I bring my two kids? With me? I cannot go to my ex-husband. I cannot go back to my mother because she already you know disowned me. Shall I, you know, shall I I cannot, you know, I cannot rent a house because I don't have money. You know, I'm just relying on uh, uh the income that i will get you know in in selling food stops in the let's say in 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 the in the bus terminal so this are your journey this the journey of your of your character and then <clears throat> lastly you know as soon as you already shared you know the dilemma of this character you should end your monologue script smoothly not just by posing and finishing with the audience having an answered question or about ah, so in that example, in that uh, in that example that I made about the single mom, probably you end this that no, I will stay here and I will fight no matter what. I will, you know, um, I will I will ask the government to blah 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 etc. Now if they will if they will me, I will fight for me. I will join. I will organize. You know my 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 neighbors that we will. You know, uh, stage rally, the protest, whatever, whatever. Because I you know, then that then at the time you are ending it now. Oi, palaban itong character na to. In the beginning, you are showing him as a weak character. You are showing him as someone who are who is helpless and doesn't know what to do. But in the end, you know, you you develop, you transform the character to someone na ma, na mapalaban ito. Someone na oi, ah, uh, ah. Uh, 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 she will fight. She will fight for their rights. She will fight for for what she thinks is right. So, don't just say, uh, "I am." No, uh, ang example ng mga problema. But magunsa na lang po ani. Magunsa na malang po ani. Masaya kung himo on. And so, what will happen to the character? Na nagsiyan siya gulat. But you have to end. You have to put you really a smooth ending. Whether say sa kung isap lang bihimo nga palaban siya, mu fight siya. So, although dili finish, dili takay balo unsa ginahitabo niya, pero ay kabalo ang audience nga, yes, she will fight and we will be excited what will happen to her when she fights against the government, against the demolition, the, the, the demolition team. You know? So at least in that in that 5 to 7 minutes alone, you are able to already you know develop your character na makita na to ang beginning, middle, and end. In, in monodrama, there is always what we call as the uh, monodrama, monologue, we always call what, what we call as the beginning, middle, and end. You always have to keep that beginning, middle, and end. There's a beginning, there's a middle, there's an end. Okay. Now, <clears throat> and then lastly, it is the final one, edit your monologue. Of course, <clears throat> again, what I, like what I mentioned, you read and read and then edit. Read and read and then edit. Read and read and then edit. Editing is very important because you are now tightening. Sometimes when I write, uh, 
I, I want to put all in. But then I say, oh, I want only to limit to five minutes. Then that's when you say, okay, medyo redundant na kayo ko din. Medyo repetition, repetition, repetitive na kayo ko din. Then that's when you, that's when you, you started, uh, you know, um, editing that part. So editing is the most important part of writing uh, a monologue. You know? uh, make sure, make sure to... Welcome. So make sure that when you, when you edit, uh, so editing is the most important part. Um, and when, when you edit, make sure to edit your script a few times after you have finished it. So it's really editing and the editing and the editing because this will help you really uh, gain uh, more about a final say na, ah, okay, this is it. Tama na yun, correct na yun yung because I have already read it many times and I have edited this uh, many times. And then you need to make sure that every single sentence and word is necessary and serves a purpose. So when you write everything there, uh, all the words, all the lines, all the sentences that you wrote or that you type as part of your, <coughs> as part of your uh, script, for example, is important, is necessary. You know? So that, that's the purpose of, of editing because you have to know that uh, you have to put that everything i mean you have to make sure that everything that you put in the script serves a purpose meaning to say important because if it's not important and if it's not necessary anymore uh do not include it because that this will just create more uh parabang more complicated uh, statements that will not be helpful anymore to the concept that you are And then uh, finally, I always say that a picture is worth a thousand words. Now, what do I mean with this? When I say a picture is worth a thousand words, sometimes um, when when I, I write, I look at pictures, and and sometimes these are the pictures that will, that speak to me. And sometimes I develop some lines, some thoughts from these pictures. No? <clears throat> I, I made a nonverbal play. I wrote a nonverbal play. Uh, and when I wrote it, <clears throat> I developed the characters from watching pictures, from observing pictures, from looking at pictures. Uh, and then <clears throat> from the pictures, I developed the characters. I developed the story of the picture. Okay, so that ends. And uh, thank you very much for listening to me. So uh, it's a very brief introduction to. Um, developing, uh, developing uh, scripts, developing uh, monodrama. So thank you very much, and I hope that you um, you learn something from me with this very quick uh, moment uh, that I am with you guys. Uh, good morning. Thank you very much. Okay, Mark. What a fruitful discussion we had. Thank you so much, Sir Philemon. I'm sure our aspiring writers have so many questions in their minds. And with that, now is the time for for you to ask questions to our dear speakers. This part of our workshop will be an open forum. You may press the raise hand button and turn your turn up turn on your microphone. Everyone. <coughs> Would you like to ask questions to our dear speaker? You may press your the raise hand button or turn on your camera oh wow i didn't realize i have a large crowd i have a 98 on the screen i hope this 98 learn a lot learn something from me are, are, are the jema are the participants all as alias i know mom rosalie is here from wemso hi mom rosalie um are there other uh, participants from other schools Yes, sir. There are other participants from other schools, and some of them are outside Ms. Amis Occidental. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for joining Silat Nimoa. This is a very, it's a very close to my heart project that I you know, developed uh, when I was still with the Salim University. 
Okay, so yeah, we can entertain questions. Um, I know yes, that we can have a lot of time, but uh, if you want to say something, you can, you know. Guys, do you have any questions to our dear speakers or fellow mod? You can ask. Yes, sir, we have one question here from Lexley. Can monologues and soli soliloquies have soliloquies. accompaniments, sir, while performing like background music for emphasis and impact? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Lexi, thank you for that's a very good question. No? Um, uh, monologues um, may may or may not have uh, background music. Pwede nga wala, pwede nga na. So, lolo, so lilo kiss, ideally, mas guapo siya nga na because it's a more internal, so lilo is more internal, more of the thoughts of the character, that will help. But monologue, pwede nga na. But again, do not when we, ang tendency mga na to, no, when we when we create uh, monologues or soliloquy, we need to be, we have that tendency to overuse the the use of music, uh, na masyadong pang MMK kaayo ang dating, no? But you can just put, put music at a certain point, no? Uh, let's, let us say you dis, you devise a five minutes na monologue. So do not put music na from the beginning of the monologue, nagbutang na kalong music until na end. No, so you only put really portions of the music just to just to aid, you know, the emotions or just to highlight that emotion that you can put music, but not all throughout the whole the whole piece, both for for monologue and soliloquy. Yes, it, the music is also an, an added uh, an important uh, element, no, in in uh, in performing monologue or, or soliloquy. Okay. Um, uh, Janine asked, "What is the best way to internalize a character, sir?" <clears throat> okay. Ito uh, mahirap, no? Uh, when when you say when you are talking already about uh, really uh, as a, as an actor, no? uh, not as a writer, but as an actor performing or internalizing a, a character, there are different ways of you know really how we we internalize a character. One approach with that would be really studying the script. Okay? And then trying, what we, we call this, in, in theater, we call this really as the script analysis. You really look at the words. Ano bang ibig sabihin ito? And then, uh, sometimes, <clears throat> we, we write what we call as the character's uh, biography. You know? So when we write the character's biography, you are writing about your character. Prior situation. And then because writing the character's biography, you will be you will understand the character in general. So then you will be able to put into uh into they well as a common sense, put into our into their shoes. You, know, you are putting them into the shoes of the character. Uh, another one also is is uh, which is actually um um, uh, from the method acting, no, uh, you look at you look at uh, re you remember some important events that happen in your life and remember it and use it as you as you perform. Use it as you you perform uh, with with uh, with your with your characters on stage. Um, and then the, the third one would be uh, observe people. We never say observe people. Look at say if you're as a character of a mother, observe a mother. Observe your probably not your mother, ma bias. Probably observe other mothers. Then look at them, their expressions, their their gestures, and then try to put it, to, try to physicalize it. So there, these are you know there are uh, these are some of the the best ways no uh, to internalize to put the characters in our <clears throat> Okay, uh, Julia asked, may I ask what are some common monologue tropes used by uh, performers? Uh, uh, it depends, no? It depends, it depends on, <coughs> it, it depends really on, 
when when it, it depends on every actor no? um, because sometimes uh, a different actor or a different uh, set of performers may have really um, uh, when we talk about it depends on the character it, it depends on on let's say a kawatan will have a different kind of uh, uh, language na gamito niya no? than um than a, a politician for example uh, or a a, a beggar has a different as a different kind of expression or, or language uh, uh, verbal language that he or she will use. No, so um, I am. It's 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 not fixed, but I think uh, uh, um, um, is it depends on what character you are developing. No, so dili man pwede nga yung character ni mo is pobre pero Inglesera ay siya. Ay no, sorry sorry ha. Dili pobre but beggar, no. But ang 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 imuhang character ni mo is beggar pero Inglesera ay nga beggar, no. Nya kung, kung ka nang perfect pagid kayo ang iyahang iyahang sentences, no. So you all, you really pattern the 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 the, the language, the words, the expressions based on the character. No? Um, ang mama nga nagpuyo sa slum area, hindi po siya inanagid ka straight mo istorya nga English kaayo. No? Or ang mama nga middle age na belonging to uh, middle class, na uh, educated, trabaho in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a company, uh, may do school switching, no? Bisaya Tagalog, pwede sa mga English, pwede siya, no? So it really depends on the character that you are <coughs> choosing. Uh, Rinalyn said, what makes a good monologue? Okay, a good monologue is when you are able to get, uh, present your story to the audience. Now, that's a beginning, middle, and an end. And it is well structured. Meaning to say, there is a story that you are saying. Say, uh, say, uh, example, you introduce, you say, what is the state of the character now? And then, unsa na hitabo sa yaha? And then, unsa iya ang potential na mahimo? And in that very short span of time, you are able to develop a character. Siya, we are able to understand it as, as it is. Joshua said, monologue can be applied also in big screen like television, sir. <clears throat> yes. Uh, again, what I mentioned that uh, in originally, um, Shakespeare, for example, wrote a lot of monologues for his characters. No? So, um, um uh, pwede siya no pwede siya in in uh, in screens uh, uh, if the film for example if you're shooting a film if you're writing for a film and then the film requires for you know for the the character to really speak but sometimes you know film kasi a big screen or the screens or movies they have a different language no uh, if theater if if drama is on the stage really use a lot of words uh, in on screen on film, it's not really about the text, but it's all about the nuances. No, kaya makita nato most of the time less kayo ang mga long speeches sa solo actor uh, in the speech, unless nagdeliver siya o he is talking, nagsermon siya in a scene, and people were listening to him. That can be a monologue when people are lecturing. But but for for the film language, for the filmic language, sometimes extended long hours of exposure of the character by the look, by the eyes, by the expression. Usually, ingon an ang ginahimo, not so much of the, the text. Unless it's part of the scene na nag-yaw-yaw, nag-saba siya, nag-lecture siya, nag-saba siya, that can, become, that can be considered as a, a monologue. <coughs> uh, how much information should be put inside the monologue? Uh, it depends on, you know, it depends on your intention. What is the intention of, uh, so, so can so it, it, it depends on the intention of your 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 play no it can be uh, also like say if you intend only to write five minutes long then you have to be selective what kind of information should be placed if you're writing a 15 minute monologue then that's when you have the more leeway to include as many as many uh, information that you can again provided as the the informations are not what up what up but the follow uh, you know, they follow uh, a thread, no? Uh, a common, para ba siyang a one storyline. 
Mary Grace, uh, what are some tips or techniques that can be applied to have a good monologue script? <clears throat> Again, research. You know, and um, observe also people. Uh, because, because by observing people, you get to appreciate how she dapat ni mo i, i sulat. You know? And uh, a very good friend of mine, Christian Valles, no? Katong, akong gi-invite na ako for the first sulat ni mo. Uh, I learned this from him, no? <clears throat> that sometimes one of the techniques that he uses is actually eavesdropping, no? When I say eavesdropping, you go to, let us say, you go to a cafeteria, you know, in, or in the canteen, or maybe it's a kanan-kananan where people talk. And then try to listen, try to open up your senses, and try to listen their conversations. It's good. No, sometimes ako, like ako, for example, when I go to the parlor, kung magpamanicure, pedicure ko, kung lapin ako daghan kaysa sa mga tao, I listen to the conversation of the manicurista. And especially kana magpamanicure ko sa high pedicure, did ay mga mga manicurista, manicurista na wala kasi lai mga 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 customers, and then they are talking. I listen to them. And this, you, you get information from them. You know, sometimes they can be applied. No? They, can, they can be applied. Uh, in fact, I may go, I may go one thing. I can make him play. After I, there was a time when I did it manicure for Then I listened to the conversation of this manicure. And their conversations were so lovely that I told myself, Kalami ani himuan o play ani ilhang conversation. So that's one. No? Uh, so research uh, and then exposure, listen, observe, uh, para kaya usahin magot kung minyo right lang ka, nabi ka na sa mga nahona, you'll be limited. But if you expose yourselves, if you listen and observe, listen to conversation of people and you observe people, then mas dakan ka o ma. <coughs> uh, sige, Jelaya, do you believe that there are some characters that are difficult to act out or does it all depend on the skill of the actors? Uh, there is no single, there is no small character, there is no difficult character. And yes, it all depends on the actor and how are you going to perform. But there are also characters na yung kita na lisod, yun siya i-act na characters. For example, um, uh, oh, I forgot the name of the character. In Hamlet, for example, si Gertrude. I said Gertrude. I said Gertrude. No, I forgot the name. No, katong rog na buang na siya, no? That na crazy na siya. That's difficult to perform a crazy character. It's difficult because you are jumping from reality to craziness. No, uh, so there are characters that are really difficult. But through rehearsals, through timing, and uh, through really uh, engaging with 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 the script and the text and understanding it, it will not be difficult. Again, sa game siya, there is no there is no difficult uh, character, but a difficult. It's a difficult actor na actor na dili mag study because sometimes when you are given a role to perform or given a script or a monologue to perform, you need to study, you need to understand word for word. What does it mean? You need to put it into yourself. Okay, so I guess okay, I guess that's it uh, for today. Um, thank you very much for the questions, and I hope you learn something from me. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay, thank you so much, Dr. Felmon Veneta Blanco. So this time, to show our utmost gratitude to our speaker, let us all welcome Janine Chilochin, one of the staff of the Slot Nemo, for giving off the certificates. This certificate is presented to Dr. Philemon Blanco as resource speaker on the Sulat Nimo Creative Writing Workshop Monologue at La Salle University by Google Meet, May 13, 2022. Signed by Earl Hendricks, S. Reyes, Rian Christian C. F. Staff and our festival director for this year's event. 
once again, I thank Dr. Philemon Blanco for sharing with us his time and expertise about monologue and creative writing. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you very much. And thank you so much, Janine. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us today. And the sign. Um, you can scan the QR code sent in the Google and the Gmail. Again, thank you so much to our spe dear speaker, Dr. Philemon Blanco, for sharing your time and talent to our aspiring artists. Everyone who attended this workshop seemed completely absorbed by our discussion. It is a tremendous honor for us to have you as our speaker today. We'll not, we would not have been able to pull off a fantastic workshop without your support. We were only able to make our program a success due to your willingness to give your time for us. There's so much more to learn from your knowledge and experience. Also, we would like to thank our festival director, Mr. Ted Najentaan, to the co-director of Salat Nimo, Ms. Saira Apo Narek, and the rest of the team, and, to, and of course, to our viewers participant, thank you for participating. Before we end this workshop, we would like to invite you all to open your com for the photo off. Okay, everyone. You can turn on your cameras. Okay. I'll count one, two, three. One, two, three, smile. Another one. One, two, three, smile. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming here, for attending our workshop. Ladies and gentlemen, that ends our workshop. I hope that you had fun and made this inspire and drive you to write more. Once again, this is Jim Arpoligratis. May, may you all take care and may God bless you. St. John Baptist de Salle, pray for us. Leave Jesus in our hearts forever. Animo La Salle. Yeah.
Ania La Salle Harvest of the Arts Festival. Ania is a Cebuano term that literally means there is, and it bears another Cebuano term, ani, which means harvest. Also, A in Ania is purposely separated to represent an acronym that means arts. And so, 
Ania is a festival suggesting that there is harvest of arts in this part of Mindanao. This year's Ania is celebrated during the month of the Founders' Feast, St. John Baptist de la Salle, with three major sub-festivals, Cine Animo, Music Animo, and Sulat Nimo. Ania La Salle Harvest of the Arts Festival Ania is a Cebuano term that literally means there is, and it bears another Cebuano term, ani, which means harvest. Also, A in Ania is purposely separated to represent an acronym that means arts. And so, Ania is a festival suggesting that there is harvest of arts in this part of Mindanao. This year's Ania is celebrated during the month of the Founders' Feast, St. John Baptist de la Salle, with three major sub-festivals, Cine Animo, Music Animo, and Sulat Nimo. <laughs> Ania La 